Hi everyone, today we're going to look at GFCI or RCD protection devices. Now you've probably seen this kind of socket perhaps in your bathroom or your kitchen or you may not have. Now these are essentially the same device but this one is a wall socket that you permanently wire in and this one is just one that you can plug in and plug out of various different sockets. Now in some parts of the world they're known as RCDs and in other parts of the world they're known as GFCIs. Now it's the same thing but just different terminology depending on where you live. RCD is a residual current device and GFCI is ground fault circuit interrupt. They both do the same job. So if you take this two prong plug socket, you can see we have a neutral and a live. And if I plug in this bulb, the power is basically flowing through the live here and returning through the neutral. Now, if I was to plug this in and then put my finger there, I'm gonna get a really big shock because there's no protection in place. Whereas with the GFCI socket, if I was to plug this in and then touch one of the pins, I would get a shock, but it would be a very brief shock because this would cut off the power extremely quickly. So the way these work is they measure the current going out of the live and coming back to the neutral. And if they don't match, they know that there's a fault somewhere. For instance, you're touching it and the electricity is going through you to ground. So as soon as they sense that imbalance, they cut off the power immediately. Now, if we take this one, for example, I can plug it in here and you'll see that there's a reset button and a test button. If I press reset, you can see the plug is now active. And if I press test, you probably heard a little relay or solenoid in there click and that's disconnecting power. So that's simulating that there was a fault, for instance, your finger touching the electricity and it immediately cut it off. So let's try that again. Now, although these are usually found in bathrooms and kitchens, pretty much anywhere where things could get wet and there's a high chance of you possibly shocking yourself, they can also be used in other circumstances. Now in a previous video I showed this lamp holder and I was holding it like this and then I accidentally touched this metal bit because part of the bulb is still exposed and I had a really bad shock from that. So, oh, got electric shock. Now if I'd have had it plugged into a GFCI socket, this would have tripped near enough immediately and I would have just got a tingle instead of a really hard shock. So these things can really save your life. Now when you take GFCIs like this, which are a single plug plug-in, it can become quite expensive and it takes up a lot of space. So these replacement sockets are really much better. And a lot of people ask, does it have to be grounded for it to work? Because for instance, a lot of homes in America and the Philippines, they don't actually use a proper grounding system in most sockets. Well, no, this will still work even if you don't connect ground. And the good thing about this is not every single socket in your home has to be this more expensive GFCI socket. You can install one of these and then daisy chain extra sockets onto this. Now there are some limits, so you have to read the instructions for that. But basically you can connect multiple sockets to this. So you buy one of these, of course, one downside of that is if you've got a lot of sockets running off this and then it trips everything that's plugged into all of the sockets are going to be disconnected immediately so if you can afford it you're probably better off installing more of these rather than daisy chaining too many so we're going to do a real life test now this is the bulb holder where i had the shock before from touching the metal now instead of using my finger we're going to test with a hot dog and i do have a wire going into that that's just ground so basically i've grounded the hot dog just like it was a human finger so let's see what happens when we don't have any gfc eye protection. Now you might have heard that little sizzle. Um, the sausage isn't quite making contact but if I push it on there you can see what happens. So you can see it's starting to smoke and if this was actually a human finger you would have just had either 120 or 240 volts going right through your body so that could have actually killed you. Let's do the same test again but this time with the GFCI. So I'll reset my GFCI and you can see that the power's come on. Let's do the same test with the sausage. And you see there, the RCD tripped as soon as it made contact. Now, this sausage isn't a perfect you know, replacement for a finger, but it's a lot safer to test with a sausage. So this RCD might have just saved your life. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. These devices really can save your life. So if you don't already have them, look into getting them installed. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.